We're gonna recreate this viral Instagram reel, which is really cool. It's made by Bart VFX and it includes all kind of things from 3D camera stuff to AI images. You can download the assets from the description to follow along. So let's get right into it. I have this empty and dark prison hallway, empty prison cell, and then two images of a prisoner uh, from the back. Let's start. So, so we're gonna start off by getting a fusion composition and five seconds is enough for us. So then just get a background note like usual and turn the alpha all the way down. And because this is 3D edit, kind of 3D edit, we're gonna build a 3D scene here. So open a toolbar by, by pressing shift and space and get image plane 3D, this, this right here. And connect the background to it. Then get also rend renderer 3D. And now connect the image plane into the render 3D and then render 3D into media. And now this is the first scene. So we're going to need the hallway and the prisoner. So they are right here. And same thing, add a image plane 3D to both of them. Pull the output of this image plane 3D right here and then merge this one right here too. So now we have all the scenes we need. Click media out and press two in your keyboard and then click this merge and hit one from your keyboard. So, and make sure you have this mode selected. As you can see at the right side, we have the final result and that left side, we have the 3D scene. And then we need a camera 3D, which wanna also merge right here. Adjusting the C value from the camera 3D transform tab or using the blue arrow, you can move it back like this. And, and we're gonna pull it up a little bit. Then next you wanna take the image plane of your prisoner. And now what we're gonna do, you wanna pull it back right in front of the camera. Right, and then from the transform tab, you wanna scale him down. Actually, we're gonna, we're gonna drag our camera down a little bit. And then the prisoner. So I'm using arrows and these sliders. You can do. They're both pretty health, pretty helpful. So somewhere around there, I'd say. And we're gonna adjust this later. So here is our hallway, and here is our prisoner. And there is this empty space, and the camera is gonna, and the camera is gonna zoom past this prisoner to that hallway. So. Uh, go to your camera 3D and from the transform tab you want to keyframe the translation X, I, Z and then the rotation C. Then move somewhere around frame 30. And now we're gonna, using adjusting the C, Z value, we're gonna bring it closer. Then we're gonna adjust the X, X value so it goes past the prisoner, not, not through him. Right here and then... Uh, Maybe I values a little bit and then the C like this. Maybe we're gonna bring the I values at the frame zero, increase it. So now it goes there. And then somewhere around frame 50. Now let's adjust the C rotation again. So it becomes negative. Brought it closer and then also the X value and I value adjust so it comes closer to the floor. Then we're gonna open the spline. Just select everything else than the C offset. Then highlight everything and hit F. And at the last keyframe, zoom it more in. Okay, that's pretty good. Actually, then the C offset. I'd say something like this. This is the Z offset. So the lines are going, they are not straight like this. They, they are tilting, if you, if you understand. They are like this and then this. This we're gonna do. We don't want ease out here, and then this is one. This one is just uh, straight. So now, it, so now it's pretty good, I'd say. And then what we need is text. So just uh, get text plus, and we're gonna write become. And for the font, I'm gonna use lemon milk. This one you need to download. And then let's get an image plane and merge it right here. Okay. Then from the transform. You want to bring it closer, so it's through halfway, between the prisoner and the hallway. And if for camera, let's take, 
let's go to the frame 30. This is where our camera stops for a moment. So we want the text to be somewhere around here. I'm going to turn the playback resolution back up so we can see better. Then uh, from the shading, I'm going to... The black shadow, I'm going to turn it on. Then from the white solid fill, I'm going to change it to gradient. And I'm going to change the black so it's a little bit gray. And then I'm going to add maybe soft glow. Increase it just a little bit. All right. Then from the text, you want to right click it and add a follower. Then from the modifiers, go to the text, keyframe the size and set it to zero. I'm going to go to frame 30 again. Then you want to, then when you are at frame 30, just increase it. Uh, like this and then just increase the delay to one. And now as you can see, this has this cool effect. But we're not done yet. Open the spline. And here you wanna select everything, hit F. And take this handle and pull it just here. Select everything and hit this icon. Let's drag this line here. Now the text animation is more longer. Alright. So that's, that's it for the first scene. That turned out to be pretty nice. Then the second one. Just now take a second fusion composition and go to the fusion. And let's create another 3D scene. Get a background, decrease the alpha to zero, and same thing, get a image plane 3D, renderer 3D, connect the renderer 3D to media out, image plane 3D to renderer 3D. And now we I have different images again. I have a prison cell and another prisoner. So I'm gonna get those and add image plane 3Ds to both of them. And then I'm gonna merge the image plane 3Ds to the single one merge node like this and same thing media out to the right one and merge 3d to the left one and then lastly camera 3d and again you want to bring the camera back so so the prison cell something like this so that there is no canvas visible but it's as far as it can be and then the prisoner pulling back a little bit uh, decrease the size of him. Yeah, something like this. And now, from the camera, you wanna, we're gonna now adjust the rotation Z to positive. So, uh, something like 8 or 9. Then, then keyframe the translation X, I, Z, and rotation Z. Go to maybe frame 30, I'd say. Now you wanna, then hit this dot, uh, so the rotation Z comes back to 0. And now bring the camera closer and maybe up a little bit. And we're gonna make this prisoner smaller again. Okay, as you can see here is a little bit canvas, so we're gonna bring it closer. And now it zooms in like this. Let's make him even smaller. And then the camera closer, I'd say. Uh, okay, you yeah, then open the spline, just select everything, now now just select everything, highlight everything, hit F, press T, and just make the ease out 100 and ease out 0. And now you, what you want to do, from the edit page, drag the first composition here, you want to check where the zoom ends. Okay, here, it, here the image becomes still, so make a cut there. Drag your second fusion composition right here. And now what you... Okay, now it kind of zooms in here. And then just take this and so it fades out. So add a color corrector to the prison cell. Decrease the lift a little bit. Gain. Then same with the prisoner. Now go to the options and tick the pre-divide slash post multiply box. Decrease the lift and gain to all right and then we need the text animation so same thing get a image plane 3d to the text node and connect it to the merge 3d and now the text says a prisoner of your of your niche and from the image plane 3d now you want to be the text to be uh, in front of or if we're in the 3d space behind the prisoner so Decrease the scale. 
so it's somewhere around here okay then some text adjustments uh now you want to add a character level styling so right click the text character level styling click the text node and hit the tool from your keyboard so now the text node is in the viewer and now select your niche and make it extra bold and then select a prisoner off and make it regular then actually i'm gonna select this and from the shading position offset eye pull them more up and here same thing now go to the tools shading white solid fill make sure it's this one then change it to gradient and make the black to gray and add a small soft glow okay and then the prison cell kind of disappears and there comes the black background so we're gonna do that now just get a background and now set the alpha to zero so now get a new background node and now we're gonna just make it make the alpha to zero because this is the canvas then get the image plane 3d and merge it to the merge node and now what you want to do now you want to get a background node and merge it here and now from the image plane 3d adjust the z value so it comes on top of the prison cell and just scale it up next thing we're gonna do is you want to get a p meter and p renderer and so these are gonna work together just connect the p meter to p renderer then what you want to do get a new background node here is a lot of background nodes change the color to white and get a polygon mask from right right here put the background to the viewer and create something like like a triangle yeah like this doritos yeah and then you want to get a what it what was it yeah bitmap bitmap node connect the background to the bitmap and now from the p meter go to style and change the style from point to bitmap so now there appears a yellow arrow now connect the bitmap to the p meter and now just merge the p render here and let's take a look okay now we have these doritos select these background of the merge node hold shift and move them here then from the region increase the size of this sphere now we're gonna go to frame 20 and you want to keyframe the number and set it to zero then go like 10 frames forward and set it to like seven i'd say or set it to 10 actually then go one frame forward and set it to zero so what it does now it generates these doritos and then it stops ge generating them now we're going to create another background node merge it between these two merge nodes and we're going to make it gray and then just take this ellipse mask bump up the softness and make it very small okay this looks pretty nice little adjustments from the p meter region make it more bigger but then go to the style size controls and decrease it so the doritos are a little bit smaller i made a little mistake before let's fix it you want to disconnect this one from here uh, make a little bit more room bring up it up Create a new background node, make the alpha to zero, and this one you wanna put into the yellow arrow. Then take this, take the output of this merge three and pull it here. So now we're merging this. Now we can keyframe the blend from the final merge node. So at frame 20, set it to zero and keyframe it. Go 10 frames forward, set it to one. Then I'm gonna go to the merge, this merge and swap inputs because the P render needs to be go to the green arrow. So now if we take a look, playback quarter. So it zooms in. Okay, the Doritos are coming in little too fast. Open the P meter and go to the keyframes. Select the two last of them and bring them 10 frames to right. Okay, actually five frames. And then we're gonna have the underline. So get a background note. We're, because we're gonna use a paint node and for paint node we need a background node just uh, set the alpha to zero then get a paint node connect the background node to the paint node and what you now want to do say from the paint node select this path option from the top just change the color to red and create a path like this then select it click this select it again and now you can adjust these handles a little bit. I'd say this is pretty good. 
Then get a image plane 3D again and connect it to the merge node where the other ones are connected to. And then just again look at the 3D space, just bring it closer and then decrease the scale. Bring it up. Remember here are here is our final result. Scale it more down. Bring it here so it underlines this niche. And I'm gonna add a soft low node to the paint node. Decrease it just a little bit. Go to frame zero and from the stroke controls, bring the end of the right on to the start. Keyframe it, go to frame 30 and bring it back to the end. Open the spline. So now I have one keyframe at frame zero, another one at frame 30. So highlight this, press F. Then T, make the ease out 100 and ease out zero. I forgot this one. Select the P meter, go to the spline. And now select the number. Take this handle and pull it here. And then finally the camera movement. When the camera last camera keyframe is at frame 30, you want to go one frame forward. Jo now just keyframe every parameter. Go to frame 60. And now you want to bring the camera back using eye rotation. Just look at the 3D space. So make it positive. And now with translation X, something like this. Same thing with the R X. So the X value is going to be negative. We want actually the background to be right behind the prisoner so bring it bring it closer and just scale it down like this just so it's behind the text you want to bring the camera more back something like this i'd say and now go to the spline here is three, four keyframes so select the keyframes that are at the right side hit f and now just make the ease out maybe 50. select the keyframes that are at the right side click this icon and bring it more right then select these keyframes again and make the ease in like 50. 60 I'd say, okay. Yeah, this looks nice. 70. Then we're gonna do the fix. Image plane 3D, let's bring it more down. Go to the first fusion composition and you wanna add two nodes. First is, yeah, first node is optical flow. Then add a vector motion blur. And you wanna, and you wanna connect optic, optical flow to the vector motion blur and then just connect them so the render goes to the optical flow and the motion vector motion blur goes to the media out then from the vector motion blur set the scale to three or something and then copy these nodes move to the second fusion composition and paste them right here between the render 3d and the media out and this just like finishes everything up and if you think this video was helpful, watch this video next. I guarantee it will be helpful for you. See you there.